shit talk of black I have gone to so many videos on Scientology and that's that's the crowd. This is also the thing that you see on top of um your dollar bill. It goes on Alistair Crowley's hat. That's where they got it from. And uh, somehow it goes back to the pyramid. But that's what everybody else knows. But I know that thing. That triangle on the dollar bill to go to his hat. It goes to his hat. It comes out of his head. And um, somehow he has made a foundation where him... Even in death, and those that follow behind him, even in death, will remain at the top. The criminals will remain at the top. You have criminals down here too that are the foundation. Because uh, these Scientologists people, they tell what Scientology did to them. But they don't tell what they did to others. They also would um, put people inside uh, a grease hole. She had to go inside a grease hole. Um, they also would uh, bash each other like they do. and But when they come out and tell, they don't tell anything they do. The, in, in a sense of a way, they do tell that they gain stock. You know, you just have to listen to them. But this is going clear Scientology and prison of belief. I guess that's uh, it could be a prison planet too. When you're inside Scientology, it appears you are in a prison planet. And I noticed that a lot of these so-called ex-Scientologists, some are actually ex-Scientologists. They don't take up for the church. They don't take up for anyone. You know, they tell you the whole thing. But there are many that say, oh, no, I'm not uh, talking about the church. I'm talking about David Miscavige and this person and that person. It appears that a lot of them, the executives, stay there until David Miss, Miss Beta Miscavige um, began to do them the same way they were doing others. Because what goes around comes around. Then they all want to run out and tell. But the ones who don't defend the church, they say it's the whole damn thing. Oh no. Some say, oh no, I'm not talking about the church. It's those that are in the church. Well, those that are in the church, they make up the church. Other than that, it's just a fucking building with church on the top. These people, they really think that's like. I'm going to get into her because they're talking about human trafficking. And see, my thing on human trafficking was, um, you know, they can steal someone, or they call it take someone, and they're all over the world. So they can take you over here to this land and you will be a slave. Uh, or they can take you over there to that land and you will be a slave, you know? Whatever slave they want you to be. But when she's talking about human... They are talking about human trafficking. It's not actually her. The interviewer. She brings up human trafficking. This is called human trafficking. But I'm going to get to her. I'll let her tell you that. I just want to show you. And pay attention to their views. Scientology money. And whatever the nigga name is. Ex Scientology talks about criminal Scientology methods. Criminal Scientology methods because they are criminals. Only a criminal will have the science of being a criminal. And these are the methods that they use. Interview with ex Scientologist Jim, I guess his name BB. I didn't listen to him much. I just turned this on, listened to a little bit, Scientology, Celebrity, um, Celebrity com Comedy Fraud Exposed, because when you pay attention to these people, they go, they were in Scientology, they go from Scientology to 
Hollywood. Scientology has this big ass um damn what the fuck is it called? Damn, I just heard the lady say it. Anyway, uh, they have all this land that's dedicated to movies and making music. And uh, I mean, it's every fucking thing I'm going to show that too. But right now, I just want you to pay attention to the views. This is my history. Um, Kiki blows the whistle on Scientology. Aaron Saxton and whatever, whatever. And she does. Uh, this guy here, he tells you the dangers of Scientology. Yes, Scientology is still around, but pay attention to the views. This video here um, tells you Scientology is also naval intelligence, and they're dealing with MK Ultra on everyone and everything else. Look at the views. 37. Let's go down to here. It was up to 13. Oh, wow, he's the one that tells you about uh, leaving your body and all that kind of shit. Here's another bipolar Scientologist cured by a psychiatry. He was cured by a psychiatrist. I didn't watch it all. You know, it's just, I don't need to watch it all. If you're cured by a psych psychiatrist, you're coming from Scientology, then Scientology fucked your brains up. But if you're in Scientology, to me, your brains are fucked up anyway. It had to be fucked up to join some stupid shit like that. And he wants to say Aaron's girlfriend was a member of Scientology family. And as a teenager, he started showing symptoms of devastating mental illness, a bipolar affective disorder. Now, there are a lot of people who their girlfriends or their boyfriends belong to Scientology and you don't know this. Because there are C <coughs> ex CIA agents that will tell you the things they did. Some will have to even marry the person that they need to, that they are getting all the information from. And then they do such stupid shit to your mind that they modify your behavior. I mean, I've seen people. Uh, you know, appear to be bipolar. But, you know, there's no such thing as bipolar. There's no such thing. I st man, I studied that shit ooh, 30 years ago or something shit like that. At least 20 years ago I studied that. There's no such thing as bipolar. There's no such thing as bipolar. Here, uh, Dianetic Scientology will take your money and your mind. Look at look, Look at the views. Uh, I didn't listen to it much. It's just a young girl talking. And then uh, Scientology, play, Prison Planet, six views. Well, something's wrong with this picture. You know? Something is totally wrong with this picture. So it makes me know that Scientology does not want you to know the truth. Yeah, they want you to hear her because. The, if you do not understand the words, you're not going to get the full understanding. But anyway, she is here telling her story, and yet no one says anything about anything. Scientology still exists. And here it's called Scientology Incorporated. Anytime you see I and T, uh, that means you're on the stock market. And, and you should see the land. Man, and this is where they make movies and everything because they have always been a part of that. See, let's go back to the top. Alistair Crowley. Alistair Crowley, um, he got these scrolls that deals with um, the science of harm of bills. And uh, I know many people don't know about Harm and Biff. And when I say Harm and Biff, they tell me he's a myth, so they don't want to hear about it. Or they think he's some Caucasian person, a Jew boy or some shit. But Harm and Biff, he came to this planet. And everyone comes from a different planet. He came from Orion. He came down here to stop the pink man. And this babbled language. See, the towers were already up. 
the the Tower of Babel was already up when Herman Biff came down here to stop the bullshit. However, uh, Solomon, who is Herman Biff's cousin, you know, when you're dealing with flesh, uh, someone gave Solomon this hammer, and uh, Herman Biff was walking in front of Solomon and hit him in the back of the head. And then these three Jew boys, they were Jews, they came, they're pink. Uh, no Hebrews, no such thing as black Hebrews. There's no such thing as a black Hebrew. If you, well, Hebrew Israelite, there's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. You do have a pink Hebrew, and you do have a, what you would call black Hebrew. But there's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. Any Hebrew Israelite will be melanated. Other than that, you're not a Hebrew Israelite. You're just a Hebrew. You know, like the Jews. The Jews, they grab her and Mabeth and they take him uh, wherever the fuck they took him to. And that was the night they got the lodge. That was the night they called whatever building or under the ground or cave it was, they called it a lodge. This guy, he came through. He got the papers and of Hiram Abib. Because Hiram Abib came to stop it, there's a a different science of dealing with words to... Uh, Hiram Abib could tell if you were a liar or not. You know? Sometimes just by your name. And so he knows how to name people. This is why we are not supposed to have their names. You know, I, I saw some of the names of the those in Islam... Um, you you know I can play with the names and stuff like that, but uh, the name is a different language. It's just written in English. That's how I can play with the name because it's written in English. However, you have to know exactly what language the name is and uh, what the name actually means. So we really are not to have the names and to have the names keeps a curse on us. We just, we don't know this kind of shit. I didn't know. I had to find out myself. So now he finds out this information and he knows how to write words and he knows how to put names um, to plays. Who's going to play this? What your name will be? This and that. That's why there's a such a thing said, uh, what's in the name? So he finds this kind of shit out and he begins to do it. You know, he's a script writer. Uh, there were a lot with him. And there's still a lot with him today. They, you know, you just don't hear his name like that. You know, unless you go on the internet. And most people with his name is not that good. So now these people... Um, Scientology, they also know how to play the game of words in your mind. So when they're speaking, they use another word, like the the uh, Debbie Cook. Debbie Cook, uh, she says that uh, two men came and they physically took her. You know, they had physically taken her. But what they did was kidnapped her. But if she doesn't tell you of this elderly woman. Well, she's not elderly. Uh, she's like in her 50s. Um, she doesn't tell you how she took that lady for $2 million. But she will tell you. After she took the lady for $2 million, whatever happened in between, David, Miss Beta Bits Cabbage, put her in the hole. You see, but they won't tell you what they did. You know, uh, this here is where Scientology is a uh, is attacking this guy here. He did a documentary, and they said Scientology is attacking him. This will show you all the land and shit of uh, the movie studio. What the fuck, your church? Why do you need a movie studio? Because they're in charge of Hollywood too. So, um, I'm going to cut this out, and I want to see 
of the green birds have anything to do with Scientology because Scientology is up in LA and Hollywood with all this movie studio shit. So I'm gonna cut this one off and um, shit talk a lot about.